Hello everyone, my name is Luis Rodriguez. I'm from GetCon. Today I'd like to show you the news about the, about Dynamo. Uh, if you go to manage uh, and click in Dynamo, the first uh, window that you appear is this that Autodesk uh, tell tell us that they want to improve their their software and they recollect information and get data from from us. This is the basic uh, windows to know how to use Dynamo. And then uh, this is a really important information. If you remember the last video and the Autodesk video that they showed you, this is the first version that you can not download the information about the Dynamo website. If we go to Dynamo uh, Beam, and then you go to download. You can see that uh, for the later version, you can download Dynamo uh, update. But for this particular version, and I think so for the newer version, you only can download the upgrade in Dynamo uh, if you go to the Manage Autodesk. This is a really important thing that change from uh, Dynamo for from this version. Now, uh, if you see the video for steel connection, maybe uh, you ask about where is the steel connection. If you go to Revit package, there is not exist, and the reason is because you need to uh, download the package. I give you the uh, the link that you can obtain more information about this video if you want, but you need to go to package and then you need to search the steel connection and you need to uh, click and give in OK. Uh, you download this package and now if you remember the version of Dynamo 2, 2.0, uh, they uh, separate the information about the native package and the uh, add-ons. This is a really important thing that I like so much because uh, you have more organized the information. Now you go to manage package and then you click in show raw content. Uh, this is a really important because if you go to the pack the page, you can see that if you want to don't um, if you want to obtain the script that that Autodesk show show you in the in the video, you can uh, need to go uh, to this uh, root directory. If if you see if this is an extra information, and then uh, for this case, uh, this is the uh, connection samples, and if you double click. Now you can see that you have this script from Autodesk. Now the things that you need to do is go to Dynamo Player. In Dynamo Player, click. And if you see uh, it's appeared uh, some samples from Autodesk, you need to click in the folder. And they uh, show you their root directory. And now for this example, I'll, it's, it's easy for me to create a new folder and name the steel connection or, or connection AU and then copy the script because if the uh, uh, root directory is so long that you spend more time if you do the, the other way. And in the same, I extract this file that I can obtain uh, this uh, sample uh, files from Autodesk if I want to try this one. Now, when I uh, have this information, now I can use the uh, Dynamo script uh, information that Autodesk give us. If you go, you need to change your folder uh, use. And now you can see you have this uh, Dynamo script that you can use. For this example, I, I like to took uh, one column and I click in 
in this uh, little uh, box. Now you can see that you need to select the element. I need to select the column, for example. I can select more if I want, but for this example, I only select one. And then appear the uh, column slant range angle from. I give you in zero, in zero. And then if I want to choose a particular uh, type of column, for this case, I put in any. And the important thing that I need to put is uh, the connection type that is a base plate. It's a pair with warnings because uh, I don't have enough space to create the steel connection, but it, if you can see the steel connection is already created. If I click in the in the, this little pen, they open Dynamo, and now I we can see the uh, notes behind this script. Uh, now you can see this is the new notes about the steel connection, and it's really uh, really easy. It's not so difficult uh, script. You can see the filter by some type. This is a new for steel connection a filter by range, and you can choose uh, the particular uh, column and the particular type of connection. Now, if you can see, this is the uh, rename node because when you try to create a Dynamo player, you try to get to understandable information about the no Dynamo user. Uh, I close that and I think that's all and try try it on this uh, still connection and don't forget subscribe thank you very much for watching us